what is up guys see you here and we are back with the beta at liverpool and a change to broadcasting we meant to come back for brentford but i forgot they are in the champions league because usually it's like 30 seasons before i get into it so we have got benfica today darwin nunez playing at his old side away from home let's jump straight in we've had some amazing results and a shocker so let's have a look So there you go, as you can see, second in the league with 12 points, joined with Fulham, Man U and Southampton. Very, very weird. <laughs> we've battered Chelsea, we've battered Arsenal, we lose 1-0 to Brentford. And I'll be honest with you, the same thing happened that happens to Liverpool in real life. Trent bombs at the pitch, which I'm asking him to do, so fair play. Goes straight down that hand side with Rico Henry and put it in. And next thing you know, we are 1-0 down and never ever managed to get back into the game. Chelsea, 3-1, a Darwin Nunez hat-trick. Then we went to Crystal Palace, 3-0, Darwin Nunez, Carvalho and Luis Diaz. Bournemouth, 2-0, Jack Seen got sent off with Ruben Neves and Darwin Nunez goals. Then Arsenal with two from Luis Diaz and one from Van Dijk. This game has actually made me reassess what we are doing with this team. But what I've done is I've made a second. I went for the 4-3-3 because then you have the fullbacks who will stay back with a bit more defensive solidity and we don't have a massive gap on the wing so that's an option but you've also seen what i've done um somebody left and somebody came in the same person i was trying to leave last time we've got the transfer history where's the man john henderson left for 17 million pounds to psg um you know he's 32 he wasn't gonna play forever was he so he's gone and we brought in for 60 million pounds cordy gakpo who has already hit the ground running as you can see, three goal, three appearances, sorry, one assist, 6.83 rating. I think he will only, only get better. Well, he was my option as the winging you know, solution. Um, but, you know, very disappointed how we're doing so far. I didn't, I mean, we, we smashed people, but I lost against Man U, who were always absolutely tanked on this game. No, I lost against Brentford, who we should have been doing better against. Puts us in an awkward position going away to Benfica. Let's get stuck in, see how we get on. Our first group game. And you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping something will go right here. So, um, yeah, I'll pick the team and we'll get straight into the game. So here we go. We have Alisson, Matip, Van Dijk, Kanate, and I'm feeling very good about this. They have some very, very strong players in the Benfica lineup. David Neres, they have Odyssey in goal. Diaz so straight away up to Robertson. Can we get a goal early on? What a goal from Andy Robertson. Come on, boys. We start it quick. Three minutes, 40 seconds into this game. We are a goal ahead. Andy Robertson taking it to himself. Darwin Nunez giving him the option. If you look at Nunez here, Darwin showing what I want a number nine to be doing in the box. But Robertson decides he wants a goal of his own and rifles it past the goalkeeper who looks a lot like Ilian Melier there. A shambles. Look at a 4-4-2. Nerez leading the line. Do love David Nerez. Went to Shakhtar, obviously things happened at Shakhtar he got a release of his contract joined Benfica he definitely had a lot to offer a club Grimaldo oh Mario oh my days it hit off three players managed to get cleared by Darwin Nunes who does know this team very very well he will want to show his class against his old squad although he will appreciate the uh what they did from I imagine he will want to do a lot better Alexander Arnold plays it up to Darwin Nunes who cannot get there very isolated Nunes is to be fair may make sense to go to a shadow striker role oh my what is happening oh denied by Allison. Allison. I honestly that happened so quick I don't know what went on um yeah my plan probably would be he can't play that role that's the only thing we'll give it a bit we're still one nil up half time might be an option to pull him back and put on a shadow striker just to give us a little bit more in that kind of going up role because we are struggling to really get him into the game and we are getting battered here boys oh what a ball to Rafa who oh, who is that who is I think it was Matip put his foot out stops from getting an easy easy goal with Grimaldo now floating ball in the box three by Fabinho Enzo saved by Becca I don't know what, what that was it was a very very weird shot uh, right, Matip is struggling so I think the option would be uh, would be to change formation now so, Van Dijk and Canate at the back, we have Fabinho there. We'll bring on Ruben Neves. And this should actually, to be fair, 
bring Darwin into the game more with the 4-3-3. So we are changing formation, 36 minutes in this game. We are winning, which is a bit of a weird thing to do. But Darwin is not doing anything at the moment that I really want him to do. Ruben Neves. He was going to have a go. Oh, you know, he plays it up. Virgil. Oh, it's the outside, the left-hand post. It goes out. Eintracht Frankfurt are winning their game as well. I do feel like I want to change this around, but we are doing very well. I'm going to leave it for now. Nunes, he has... What I've noticed is that when I'm doing the team talks, Nunes is very, very insecure. I've noticed this. He does need a lot of uh, positive reinforcement, which is fine. Oh, Fabinho, I love that. Takes it up to Darwin. Darwin, what a challenge. Do it. Diaz, put him through. Thiago, put it across. What's happening, boys? You put it across. All right. 51 minutes in. I just don't think this has worked. Um, we have Jota. I'm going to play up top as well. Carvalho. For, I'm going to put Firmino up top. Drop him in here. Put him as a shadow striker. Uh, Winger-wise, they're both struggling, to be honest with you. Jota there. Have a value over there. Pop them around. I like Jot on the left end more than I like him on the right. Three changes. Well, we made four changes in total. 53 minutes in. We are still winning one goal to nil, but they have a chance now with a free kick on the edge of the right hand side of the box. Saved by Allison. Ignore, we're not hitting early crosses. We don't need to hit early crosses. I want to play a very compressed gig and press type of style here. Yeah. With Alexander Arnold, can he get a good delivery? In the mixer, Jackler clears. Nobody attacking the ball there, which is disappointing, but Jota. Carvalho. Back to Jota. Firmino. We had so many. Honestly, on this beta, I've seen so many goal line clearances. <laughs> so, so many. Canate. Cannot make anything happen. But here we go. Right, we need to make some changes. I can make three more subs. Three more subs in total. So Firmino can come off. We'll put on Naby Keita. I think Harvey Elliott, I think, for Thiago. And I can't do that. So Thiago's staying on. <laughs> Thiago's staying on. So what I might actually do, I might put on the center of center midfield. Center midfield, what Mike? Box to box is very, very intense. Kind of running backwards and forwards. He is Thiago. He doesn't really do the running. There's probably a silly position to put him in, but yeah, they are, they are battering us, which is an issue. I'm going to encourage them. To win this 1-0 is a good result, but we should have we should have won by more, I feel. We've hit we've had some very, very good chances, and so they to be fair, but I thought we'd have been a little bit more potent. Fabio Carvalho cannot get that ball. Odysseus runs it up. They are in desperate need of a goal. Nice from Robertson Jota. Jota does a little flick. Doesn't work. Andre Almeida to bar. Rafa. Enzo. Oh, they're on the attack now. Draxler puts it in. David Neres scores. It could be offside, and that is just a shambles, man. That is a shambles from what we need to see. They are checking the goal. It could be 1 1. Goal awarded. They do deserve it. They've been a better team. And once again, the curse of the update wreaks havoc upon my Liverpool side. We caught the back of a loss there. A draw isn't the end of the world. We can still qualify fairly easily, I feel. Uh, Frankfurt will be a difficult game. But hopefully Red Star Belgrade will be a walk in the park, which now definitely means Hood Gaming's team will absolutely crush me. But that is going to be it. We're going to come back, I think, for the second Eintracht Frankfurt game. Obviously, with the World Cup, there is a lot of victory congestion. But hopefully by then we can have a nice little run of form and we can finally get our first update win. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know what accent that was, but stay safe and I'll catch you next time.